This is your moment for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Wow, what a night at Ulster. I'm joined by Jamie Conlon of course we're at the Conlon Boxing Show. Unbelievable night here in Belfast, Jamie. Fantastic, Nate had everything. Had a wee bit of everything and that final fight was, was just what we needed to finish Nate off. And loved it. From start to finish, I think every fight was competitive enough. And, and I think we've seen a star in it, a star we're born. We'll come onto the card in a second, but I'll speak to your brother okay. about this. Speak to your brother about this. Uh, how tough kind of it was. I know you've been in management, but promoting is a different thing, putting shows on. How's, how's it been, Jamie? It's a different kind of stress. You no, know, we jumped in to the deep end with uh, with the failure in August. You know, everything that was chaotic and crazy, and building your own stadium and everything around that door. And this was a bit more tranquil. Bit more where I was worried that I wasn't worried if that makes sense and <laughs> yeah. trying to trying to overanalyze and overthink things, but it's different. Everything now is is you know, it, I've met, you know as a boxer coming through, you you always wondered what happened on the other side of the ropes, how the sausage was made basically. Now you're getting experience it and live it. It's a dream job. Um, I'm loving every minute of it. The pressure is is a different kind of pressure. Sometimes I wish I was still a boxer and I punch someone in the face, but so, yeah, I'm, I'm really reveling it and loving it. How many shows do you reckon we'll see, let's say, in the next six months, Jamie? I say se uh, several shows in the next 12 months. Um, we're looking we're looking to build something here, but also to spread spread the reach wider. I think we have something here that really has... We, we can build it from, from the ground up. We'll create a hub here. The Ulster Hall is a fantastic uh, springboard in the, in, the, uh, in the Odyssey. It's a big jump. But I do believe we have the quality here to, 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 to take that jump. A fantastic night, really. Let's start with the main event, Lewis Crocker, with a brilliant finish there in, in a tough fight, a competitive fight. But he was always on top, wasn't he? Listen, it was, it was exactly, I think, what he needs. Um, he's in one of the most sexy divisions in Britain. And I believe the next step should be British title, British title eliminator. I think he's even passed that, but British title. I think he's a, he should be fighting for that. That's, that's where he needs to be. Um, I would love him and Florian Marku something along those lines they won't mention him no one will mention him that's the, that's the worry we're building something here will, will people come to fight him it's going to get harder and harder as we move forward um, but he needed that kind of fight he needed that kind of statement on the fight it's just building from here where do we go I think, I think the British title route is perfect but if we can't get a British title, I think Florian Marku, someone like that there, is where, he, where, where I think he'll make big statements. Listen, he's one of the hardest punchers, if not the hardest puncher on this island. And I think probably in British boxing, the way he puts his punches together. I think he, I think he adapted as the fight went on. He was trying too hard at the start, and then he started to break him down. And when he hits you, he hits with intent, and he hits the hurt. Well, we saw that tonight. Sean McCoon with a really good uh, eight rounds bank tonight. I don't think anyone was getting rid of Ronnie Clark tonight. <laughs> Man, Ronnie's just one of the mentally driven guys that it's very hard to, to get rid of him. He'll give everyone a tough night. But again, it was the perfect fight at the, at the right time for Sean McCoon. Sean McCoon, I'm sure, had a lot of questions and doubts in his head after the Gavin Gwynn fight. We, we bigged him up something shocking here. He looked phenomenal here, building up again on, on the Ulster Hall shows. And then he took his, his opportunity, and maybe it was a step too far, at the, at, uh, too early in his career. He needed to have these kind of Ronnie Clark opponents. And again, Ronnie tested him. He, he had a round four, round five, and Ronnie seemed like it was going to come back into it. And Sean then took over later on. So it was, it was great to see again. The next step was crucial for Sean McComb because he's had that eight round fight against a gatekeeper in Ronnie Clark. A Titan fight needs to be, be had. I'm sure he's banging on the door again that the fake Gavin Gwynn, he wants to fake mm. Gavin Gwynn, he was saying to me he wants to fake Gavin Gwynn, he wants to right the wrongs. Tonight would have been the perfect uh, test before the big exam. And what can we say about Poddy McCrory? I mean, that knockout is going, well, especially the first knockdown, the left hook, is going all over social media, brilliant night for Poddy, and the atmosphere was electric when he fought. Poddy McCrory, I think, People, young people coming through who maybe haven't done it at elite level amateurs here in, in Ireland and Belfast he should be who they look to to find it the route and the path to build on to start to do big things um, Paddy started way down selling tickets on really low cards really dinner shows basically then to the Devonish again ticket seller started to create a fan he's a great following footballer yeah. and stuff like that so he started to build then he started to take opportunities 
in 50-50 fights or 60-40 fights against him. He started to win, he started to get better, he got better, he got better. Tonight he was come in. I would love to come back with parties of Hailing because he has the crowd, he has the style, and again we can make big fights with Party, I believe here. Um, I text Frank Smith before we done this fight, Park Podium Corey against Jack Cullen. I think fireworks written all over it. Love it. I would love that fight. Um, but again, Podium Corey's high risk the reward. We have to kind of build him here again and bring people here, I think. Well, fantastic night of action on this condom boxing card. Obviously, went out on ESPN Plus in the States and obviously on IFL in the UK. Um, just before I let you go, I do want to ask about uh, your brother. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard that uh, Eddie Earn and Matron won the first bid for him and Leewood? Actually, delighted, you know. I think from our point of view, from, from Eddie's point of view, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. If he goes some party stay in New York, if he does it the big garden, if he attaches Katie, he's investing a bit more in Irish fighters coming through to build the Irish fighters around it. It would be phenomenal. You know, financially, I think it would work out well. I know it's expensive to put a show on in New York, but you're going to generate the gate there. Do you think you'll stick it in Nottingham? If he does, he does. Again, it's one thing he's relishing. He's looking at it from the point of view that I'm a challenger. I should be going away and fighting on him. He'll want to take that that wee bit of out of the comfort zone experience. Let's go to Nottingham. I don't think it does the numbers of what it does in New York, but Nottingham would be no problem, I'm sure, for him. For me, from a management point of view, I think everything is New York. I think everything. Eddie and, and stuff, I'm sure I've been watching from afar and seeing how, how much of a draw he is in New York. Attaching Katie, going to the big room, doing 20,000. Katie and Serrano with the Puerto Rican side of things coming to it. It's a no-brainer. But then again, Eddie is, uh, Lee Wood is Eddie's boy. So um, I think Lee Wood's been paid more than he's probably ever been paid. You know, that probably softens the blow to go to New York. But it, again, it's a neutral venue. I'm sure a lot of the Nottingham fans will come across the to New York, they're they're totally confident and it's a fantastic fight. It's a fight from a brother's point of view, you're going, fuck me, it's a very tough night. It's a tough night. I would want an easier night, but seeing Lee Wood progress up close and personal to, at the Golden Contract, Harry's developed, you know, he's a he's a world class fighter. Harry won Harry beat Kanju and you know, mm. we're going about this the belt situation with the regular and the super. In my opinion, Lee Wood is the world champion. He should be the super world champion. We're, we're just, it's just a name. He beat Kanzu, who was, I thought, the guy at 126 and was going to fight Josh Warrington. So he deserves all the credit to become the being world champion and be named as world champion. And when Mick beats him, he'll get all the credit to become world champion then after that. Well, whether it's at Madison Square Garden or in Nottingham, it's going to be a cracking fight. We look forward to it next year. Jamie, congratulations on a brilliant night at Oscar Hall. And we look forward to the next show. No, pleasure to come.